this point in time, I have to ask myself how to come to this, how to get locked into this van. I was captured about an hour ago by two goons from the Blood Disciples. The end of the world came, at least as we know it. It all started on that day, the day everyone predicted, December 21st, 2012. Dirty bombs were detonated, 12 of the most populated cities in the US destroyed. One of those towns was Chicago, where I'm from, and I got lucky being in Louisville when it happened. Life as we know it has been changed forever. This horrific event brought on a nuclear winter, food stopped growing, people changed. When food ran low, people turned to gangs for help. Two distinct gangs formed, the Blood Disciples and the Good Crimson. They go from town to town, pillaging, looting, taking whoever and whatever they find. And if you're not with them, you're against them. Take these three to the cells. We need them alive. So take it easy on the torture this time. Me and the other two prisoners were taken to our own cells. I couldn't see them, but I could hear their screams that filled the hallways. I was tortured. I robbed those sadistic bastards the satisfaction of expressing my anguish. After they were certain every rib in my body was broke, they left me in my cell to rot. When I finally came to, there was a guard waiting for me. Hey, what's going on? Shut up, dirtbag! Where are you taking me? I got no response, but we came to a doorway. The sight of the sky blinded me even though the sun was covered with nuclear debris. There were about a dozen men with guns standing in a circle. There were two men standing in the center of the circle. They were clearly the two leaders of the rival gangs. I was placed with the other two prisoners, and in the distance there was another prisoner. This looked like some kind of prisoner exchange. The gang leader that captured me began to speak. Not one hair on my son's head had better be out of place. I got two sturdy men to assist you with labor and one slut for some fun, just like you requested. Now hand him over. Now listen here, we gonna have some fun, but not that it concerns you. And we wouldn't dare hurt you, dear old boy, Peter Puffin faggot, just like you. Not when he gave up the locations of your three defenseless food supply chains. That's a damn lie, now give me my son. Slow down, muchacho, not until I get my goods first. Get up! Slowly! Get over there! We've got guns on you from all sides. Make a move and you're all dead. Now hand over my boy! Okay, now you heard the fruit. Now let the fairy go. It's a trap! Get out of here! He's going to kill you! Everybody set and everybody ready. Get in the position! A shot sounded in the distance. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry for getting you involved in this. No! Damn it, no! The young prisoner had jumped in front of the bullet, saving his father's life, and he fell to the ground dead. Kill them all! As soon as everyone was engaged in the battle, I took off running for a creek that was in the distance. I only looked back once, the prisoners were both falling behind closely. Our prisoners are escaping! Shoot them bastards! I got away. The others weren't so lucky. I know I'll find some kind of shelter if I just keep following this creek. If any of them are still alive, I know they're following me. I have to keep going.
I ran for hours. I ran until I came upon an old farmhouse. This could be the shelter I was looking for. It's starting to get dark and I'm unarmed. God only knows what could be in this house. Better take it slow. I entered the house. It had an old rotting smell to it. Like death. What was that? Help! Help! You up there! It must have been the basement. I headed downstairs towards the sound. Help me! Down here! Oh lord, I've been stuck down here for hours. Could you give me a hand, boy? A wheelchair was laying on its side, just out of the old crippled lady's reach. I went to pick it up. Now, how in the world did you get so far from your chair? A couple of young bastards come in and knocked me down and stole all my food. My god, what are people coming to these days? Ugh, here, let me help you. I appreciate all your help. You look like one of the good ones. Very few of them left. Right, as I was picking up the woman. <laughs> Everything went black. <laughs> looks like we got ourselves dinner. You can't go trusting no one these days. <laughs> As I started coming to, I noticed I wasn't inside anymore. I was strung up on a piece of wood in the backyard. There was an extremely disfigured man stacking firewood underneath me. He must have been the one that knocked me unconscious. You're gonna keep us fed through the winter. God dang, look at all that meat on them. Much better than that bony little kid that came through last month. Mm -hmm. What are you people doing to me? You people are sick. Why are you doing this? No hard feelings, boy. We need to survive. 